we're going to add one more video on graphics and for that purpose we're going to go to the document that i was showing you earlier and in here we're going to start a two-dimensional graph static i'm going to take this command paste it over here and put the cursor in between and i'm going to repeat this example basically it's a is a um, explicit explicit function sorry so we go for expression and the, the function that we're going to plot is x squared minus 5 uh, with x between minus 3 and 4. But we have this thing, this is optional, a second expression that defines a region to fill. And we're going to put the line x plus 5. What does this do? It actually plots two graphs. Let me, let me see what happened when you press that OK. You get not only the explicit declaration for the graphic that you want to do, but also there's this thing called fill function equal x plus 5, and then another line that says fill function false. The cursor would be here if we wanted to add a title, and let's say like that, um, it's called fill region, example. If we want to do access, uh, x label, let's say x and y. Mm, we're going to keep that without filling the ranges. And what else? The grid. Grid 1, 1. Okay, so now we're clicking where to shift enter. And what it does, it produces the graphic of the curve, which is the x squared minus 5, and the straight line, x plus 5 for this case, and then it fills the line in between in the default color red. If you want to change that color, you could go here, type enter, and then go to uh, fill color. And let's change it to, to this uh, blue, for example. And then what we do, that's the, that's the original version that I am using for inspiration, so I'm going to take it out. And this is the region that that uh, gets uh, shaded. Suppose that we're doing a calculus problem and that would be trying to find the area in between these two. So you say, okay, solve the two equations y equal 5 plus x, y equal x squared minus 5 for x, y. It gives him these two results. Sorry, shift enter. I store it into x sol. I extract x1 and x2 as those values. And then I do the integrate, remember. Um, and solve, I'm using um, equations, solve. And for um, integration, I use calculus integrate. And I'm going to, in the graphic, obviously, the, the straight line is above the curve line between those two limits. And so for that case, I use as the integrand x plus 5, which is the straight line minus x squared minus 5, which is the, the quadratic equation. I'm using a definite integration of between x1 and x2, which are the values that I obtain over here. I get this result. It gives me this result. If I want to be more clear of what I'm trying to do and trying to integrate this if you want the number and basically you calculated the the area between these two points and so this is an, another example where you can use graphics and then you can include integrations and so on this next example shows that you can actually create a graphic with multiple curves, for example, in a two-dimensional case. And what I did here, I would change the color and add an explicit curve right here. We're using expression, change color, and another explicit curve using expression, a third explicit curve, and then I added an implicit curve and a parametric curve. How are you going to do that? You are going to going to show you here how to get started. 
you go for a two-dimensional graph, static. I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. Because I'm going to need a lot of spaces here. Click in front of it. And so then let's go for line color first and select the color. I, I, these are kind of arbitrary. So I'm going to go select this one and say OK. And then in front of them, we go for our expression. And we enter an expression. I say x squared plus 1 with x with the minus 2 and 2. And then we're going to go for another line color, green, for example. And then let's, the next one could be an expression, it could be an implicit plot. Let's look at an explicit plot that's going to be x plus y equal 25. And then the next one is going to be a parametric. So let's do an, another color line. Uh, I don't know, this orange. And then go for a parametric plot. And they say it's going to be sine of t, because sine of t, this always gives me a circle. t, let's say between 0 and 20. And then you can add titles and accents, whatever. I, I, the, the graphics is what is important right now. And as you can see there, the second Graphics not showing up maybe because that 25 is too large. It's out of that range, but you do have the parametric plot and the explicit plot. So let's change this to two and see if that helps. Mm, oh, what did I do? Oh, there it is. I did when I change this to x plus y equal two and the x goes between minus 2 and 2 it should be completely over here oh because the y has come from minus 2 to 2 if i go if i do y minus 2 to 5 then it will show up better there it is and so you can plot two, two graphics in the same uh, plot if you add them carefully one after the other and change the color of the, of the lines. Uh, what did I do here? Oh, okay. What I did here, the, the, the equation 25 minus x squared over 2 is a, is a parabola. If I wanted to fill underneath, you have to do... Let me get just that one in between 0 and 10. Let's do that again here. And we're going to do 2D. Uh, OK. Expression. Control V. And X we say between 0 and 10. And then optional, a second expression that define a region. The second expression will be the X axis, which is Y equals 0. And so we go right that, like that. And that's the first example right here. Well, I added labels and so on. But the color of the filling, it, by default, this filling is in red. But if you go here and do fill color, you can change the color to something more like, less bright. Like, I don't know, let's try this brown. OK. And shift. Now, if you want to add, um, sorry, this is enter x label equals double quote x, y label y, sorry, y. And a grid. And do it by five. It gives me that. Okay, so those are things that you can play with in, in, in Maxima, and so that will finish this particular video.